or we'll come up with the tax benefits most beneficial normally, but you could file married filing separately. If your filing status is married filing separately and your spouse was born before January 2nd, 1959 or was blind at the end of 2023, uh, you can check the appropriate boxes on the line labeled age blindness if your spouse had an income uh, income isn't filing a return and can't be claimed as a dependent on another person's return. This is the uh, last page or page four of the form 1040 SR, which can provide some more information about those different combinations that could have an impact on the standard deduction of age uh, and blindness. So standard deduction chart, add the number of boxes checked in the age blindness section of standard deduction on page one. And then uh, if your filing status, and here are the statuses, single married filing jointly, qualifying surviving spouse, head of household married filing separately. So when single and the number of boxes checked is one, then your standard deduction is the 15,700. If single and two boxes are checked, what would that indicate? over the age limit and blindness, that's when it would go up to 17,550. Now, if you're married filing joint, you can see the different combinations. Now you have two people who could be, uh, who could be over the age and could have blindness, right? So if you have one person that is either over the age or blind, then the standard deduction is 29,200. If you have two people that are both over the age or one over the age and the other blind or both blind, so, you know, a combo of two of those factors, then we're at the 30,700. If you had a three, which means two people possibly over the age limit and one person blind or something like that, but possibly could be two people blind and one person over the age limit. So that would be the 32,4. And then if both people are over the age limit and both blind, then you're at the 33.7. Qualifying surviving spouse, now you have the status that is that would be uh, giving you the standard deduction similar to married, but it's the year after the death of the spouse typically, uh, in which case you're back down to one person. So the one person could be uh, over the age limit and blind, right? If they ha had over the age limit, they would have the, the similar to the marital status, right? Here, same here, here, and then here and here if, if they were blind and over the limit. Head of household, now you're just one person again. So you could have one or two over the age limit or over the age limit and blind, but the standard deduction started at a higher point because you're a head of household, typically meaning you had a dependent. So 22,650 and 24,500, and then married filing separately. So now you have, you're married, but now you're filing uh, the the separate returns. Uh, so you're gonna, so then you have your scenarios for the married filing separately uh, situation. So you can see it actually gets, it seems fairly basic, but it actually gets a little bit complex when you start to think about the different combinations that could impact the standard deduction for these two factors with one or two people involved.